Hi guys, welcome back to XCOM UFO Defense. Hard mode expansion starting episode 21. And it's the 13th of April. And yeah, last mission we, um, last episode that is, we uh, went to Alien Base 2. And it ended up being a bit of a recon mission. We uh, we went in and checked it out and actually discovered that in addition to sectoids, they have cyber disks. So I was afraid of that. And it does change it changes the likelihood of success significantly. So, and actually we ended up having a cyber desk put us in a checkmate. So we had to, you know, withdraw, but there were no losses, which was good. And we got, we got that information. So um, I do want to take it out, but I think I'm inclined maybe to wait until we have laser weapons, but I have to think about that. But anyway, we do have a mission lined up for now. At the end of the last mission, we shot last episode, we shot down a um, small. So we're ready to go on that. I believe the uh, Sky Striker is all loaded up. So let's just head right out there and take it in. And um, we were kind of prepped for, uh, yeah, we were kind of prepped for a base. So things were a little different than loadout wise than what they might be. I believe Vera was a Grenadier before, so I think I'm gonna try to change her back to that. Although it's a little hazy now, but um, not that it, I don't think it really matters that much actually. But let's get her back. And yeah, the other thing we were talking about with that base was that it was potentially in a region that was um, not a region, not a funding region. So I, I don't know how that plays out, but we'll see. Um, maybe if we uh, if we lose a country, but wow, Vera can really carry a lot of stuff. You know what? She could even get away with a, a pistol in her backpack, probably, and still be pretty good. Okay, that's Vera Bastien. I'm still very unsure about whether we want this. I think I'm almost more inclined to um, to bring the uh, rocket launcher because it's so powerful. And the one thing we did say is that we we're going to unload them when we we're in the craft. You know, he can actually drop at his feet that that, and I'll put him. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so he's our rocket man. Silly, brand new guy, shotgun material, ready to go. All the, he has all the basics. Now the thing we're trying to do this mission is we are trying to stun an alien. We need to stun an alien and bring it back. And I'm prepared to waste a few rookies on that because that's a priority thing. Um, I'd say everybody pretty much needs to carry a stun rod, especially the rookies. So rather than carry some extra stuff, um, you know, carry a stun rod. Yeah, some extra proximities. You're never going to use those. Let's just give you a stun rod and send you in. You know what? Let's be honest. You're never going to use a grenade either. Good old Joao. Um, okay, Joao. Let's make him a medic. Does not need all these. But he can throw this one first, I guess. Maybe. Somewhere. He's kind of a technical guy, Joao. He's like an engineer. You know. Um, decent shotgun man. He's got, a, he's got a taser on him, which is good. He's got a lot of extra carry weight. Let's give him one of these just in case we run into trouble. Tony of the Falcon. So yeah, I mean, do we want more of these or do we want, I think the Falcon, ah, 66 accuracy though, you know, not great really. Um, let's come back to him. Anastasio, he used to be a rocket person, but I think with that kind of accuracy, he's much more of a forward assault guy. Oh, he's already got this taser thing, so that's good. Yeah, that looks good, Anastasio. Erd, Erd's shotgun through and through, but now he's shotgun with stun rod. Drop one of those. Yeah, so he's in good shape. Now, Jacob, wow, Jacob's a commander. Wow, a little nervous that he's on the mission. He could get wasted, but, you know, there it is. Um, yeah, I like this, because he can come up and participate later by scanning the craft. He doesn't have to go inside. So that's actually a really nice loadout for him. Um, Jenkins, shotgun material through and through. You know, well, I guess, you know, might as well go with all the extra stuff. This guy. Stun rod for sure. Yeah, he's probably not going to throw a grenade. Um, okay, Khalid. Iverson. Yeah, original shotgun man. That puts him close to under. I like what he's got. Raw. Um, wow, a lot of extra stuff, Raw. Let's give you one of these. We do need to find a second. Oh, you definitely need a stun rod. Okay, yeah, that sounds about right. We definitely need to find a second. Okay, Vera's our only uh, Grenadier so far. We need a second one. I guess it's going to be... Joya's sort of an engineer. I guess it could be Lionel. 
Sergeant. Could be the Falcon. I guess it's going to be the Falcon. Let's give the Falcon a turn at the, uh, the, the, the grenade launcher. See how he does. Okay, 43. He'll go through one pretty quick. That's looking pretty good, guys. Everybody has their smoke grenades all primed. Jenkins, might as well prime that. Khalid, you, you need one more smoke grenade, don't you? I'm gonna throw that one, prime it. Um, yeah, primed, primed. Okay, guys, so let's go in and see what happens here. This could be bloody, um, but it's a small, can't be that bloody. Oh, gosh, that's the worst start ever. I can't believe how much I hate these starts. Okay, Iverson, you have no choice but to jump. Well, Iverson. Do that. Uh, who's doing this? Okay, Vasily. Oh, there's a there's a smoke drone there. Shucks. It's got to go outside. Yeah. So Rob bit the dust right off the bat. Let's come on, come on, Vasily, do it. Oh, guys, this is not our day. You know, this is going south here. Iverson, can you pull back? Vera. Okay, Vera, you are not going to be that useful here. John could throw this. I mean, I think we kind of have to deploy. This thing could smoke for us. Let's do that. We'll do that in just a sec. Let's get Iverson to jump out. Can you drop this? Okay. Let's get the smoke drone to pull up. Let's get Vera to go down the ramp and just shoot this thing. Hey, Vera, thank you. Now let's get somebody else to smoke this for us. Uh, who can do it? Bastien? Yeah. Oh, he threw it on the ground. Okay. Well, that's okay. You can do this. We need more smoke. We need smoke like... There. And we need smoke like... There. Okay, that's a start. Go back here. We just have to survive this turn kind of thing. Um, okay, well, who else can pull up? Lino, pull up. Stian, pull up. More rookies. Joao. Okay, well, who's at the back? Khalid. Yeah, just pop this right out. Go. Good. And wait till next turn. The attack's waiting in the wings. Two rookies out. I like that loadout. That's good. Or that, that order. Falcon, you're going to pile out this side, I think. Which way is down? Okay, that's the edge of the map. Yeah, so I don't know if we're going to get a stun here. We need one, though, so badly. So he dropped a smoke grenade there, I think. So let's just pile in there and hope for the best. Did you Iverson? Yes, he did. Okay, good. So you can go there. And I guess Joao, maybe we're going this way. Okay, that's pretty good. It's balanced. Let's hope for the best here, guys. Oh, oh. So, yeah, I forgot that the guy that got shot on board raw had a smoke primed. Okay. So, um, let's push it here, try to reveal something. Okay, there's the craft. Okay, pull back. Okay, they've got extra smoke over there, that's good. Let's get Vera set up over here. Load it up, drop to a knee. Okay, we're gonna need recon this way. It's gonna be the rookies. Let's let's do it, Khalid. Let you go. 
That can just, no, not quite. Okay, spotted. Um. He might have reaction fire. I think we should probably try to drop him with Christopher here. What should get with a rookie. Um. Lip tack, I'm a little nervous. I like lip tack having a lot of safety in what he does, but Erd, Erd's kind of more of a get it done kind of guy. Erd, come on, really? Wow, we're really losing out with the shotguns here. It's not working the way it used to. Who can pop out and do some damage? Okay, let's get Eugent out here. You get Eugendra. There we go. Took a little bit. Okay, Khalid. You're gonna throw this here. And pull back to here and really hope we don't get an alien grenade, because that would be that's what they that's what they want. Who can do this? Lip tack, you can throw a little bit of extra smoke, spread this out a bit. Here, there. So that hopefully insulate us a bit. And let's try to pile at the back. The silly. Okay, you're you're in with the squad here. Vasily. Can you do more smoke? Yes, you can. So let's get Vasily down to here and spread the smoke out here. Do like that. Wait till next turn. Who else? Bastien. We got to get you in the play here. So, hmm, but the angles aren't good, you know? I guess Bastien's just going to pile out here. Maybe he goes to there. It's probably a decent spot. And we need the second Grenadier out here now. Falcon. It'd probably be smart to have him down south, but... Okay, let's put him around back. Iverson. Yep. Extend this out to here. Good. Next turn. Let's really hope we don't get the alien grenade here, guys. That's it's always waiting for us, though, isn't it? There's always an alien grenade waiting for you. Pile out. You know, this is a bit of a gap right here, actually. It's smoke. Can you do it? There we go. That's looking real good now. And yeah, let's get uh, lip tack. Okay. No, not not this turn. Jueo. I guess Jueo's going at the back. Oh, and there's Lena. Wow, we've got a pretty pretty good sized squad here. Well, let's just get ready to uh, get ready to pile out next turn. That's what I call a smoke radius. Beautiful. So we really want to take a prisoner, although we can't push it. Like, you know, we still have research to do. Oh. See, the problem is that he could have an alien grenade. I have to just take him out. You know, I can't. Can't mess around with him. This is a lip tack type of thing right here. But not when he can't see him. Um, hmm. You know, this could do, but he just is likely to blow something else up, but you have to be aimed. Yeah, like that. Blow some terrain up for us. Um, the problem, yeah, I didn't kind of need a second sniper. We've all got shotguns, so it's sort of a little awkward, actually. Okay, well, let's see what's over this way. That guy has a sword, but, you know, if he's got a sword, it means he's got an alien grenade, too, for sure. That that makes me unsettled. Ooh. Wouldn't that be nice, eh? But he, there's no way. 14? He could almost do it. To be a suicide move, though. That thing's too close, you know? Can you do this, Iverson? Wow, we hit it. That was cool. Heard? Who else can do this? Yagendra. Somebody else. One of the heavies up here must have a stun. A stun. He's got a pistol. Okay. Well, time to get out. Attack. Who can do it? Anastasia. Yeah, you can do it. Let's try this. Do it. Sixty-three. Go. Oh, missed. Now we're all exposed. Well, push comes to shove, I'm going to kill that thing, but I'm just going to shoot it. But, uh, 
Joao could try to. Let's, tr let's see what we can do here. Joao, come on down. It's going to be a s snap. Wow, that thing's tough. Well, Khalid, you know what? Eight, he can't do it. Oh, darn. Okay, well, we got to kill it. No choice here. Oh, it's stunned. I wonder if you can heal it. You know, go resuscitate it. That thing's got to drop. It'd be cool to take them both, but yeah, let's pull this thing back. And we're just going to hose the place down with um, all kinds of different gunfire here. We have a heavy. I thought we had a... Um, somebody had a heavy launcher. No, we traded it for the rocket launcher. Shucks. Liptak, can you do this? No, no line of fire with that. All right, well, here comes. There it is. That's just like that. Okay, and uh, these guys are chilling. Okay, Vasily, you're going to push forward here. Make sure we don't get flanked. And yeah, Stefan, you're going to pull up to this mound in the smoke. Hope we don't get flanked. Pull in a little. Pull back a little. And if that thing survives till next turn, we will. Um, yeah, so, okay. And Liptak, you're going to push all the way to here. And next turn, you'll be able to hopefully put some shots down range. Erd, yeah. Yeah, Erd, Erd, Erd. And then this guy. Oh, okay, yeah, Grenadier. Okay, I guess get out here. So you're ready for next turn. Barry, you're chilling. All right, guys, and who else is upstairs? We've got Leonel. Which, I like having somebody in the back, just in case, you know? It's always good. Nice and quiet. Still some people in the craft, which I like to hear, so. Um, let's push forward a little bit here. Try to do a reveal. Oh. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Jacob. Wow, tough they are now, eh? Can any of these guys do, um, like maybe we can do, no, you can't at a range. You have to run up the hill and do it. What do you have, Stefan? You can, no, you can't do it. Uh, I think we're dealing with a good old fashioned bombing here. Just because, you know. Can you do Khalid? Yeah, you could. Let's try to, let's try to resuscitate that thing next turn. Let's hope that that covers him. That thing might have already died, it's hard to tell. The attack. Okay, let's push these recon guys forward a little bit and see if anybody... There, uh, yeah, they're creeping up on us for sure. Ooh, look at that. Right in our midst, too. Can we get a stun on this thing? No. I'm here. Can you do it? No. A little bit closer. 27 is the shot. Yeah. That was good. Iverson. Back. Who's next? Uh, what do you take for a shot? Aim 28. Okay. To come to here. Nastasio, make this happen for us. Look good. Wow. But that thing's tough. Not Does not stun easy. And Joao, you're the last customer here. 22. What's it going to be for 26? Hmm. No. Well, and then he has to turn, so. It's gonna be out of range. Oh, I could try this. It's gonna do it. Oh. Too good to be true, right? Falcon needs to reload. Schwartz. Yeah, can't stun it because it's floating. Anybody else? Um, Bastian, I guess, reload. These guys, yeah, they're doing all that funny business down there. Liptak shot out. What about this guy, Erd? No, he's a he's a hand to hand kind of guy. Yogendra, no. And what about old Lionel? What's he got? Gee, now I wish I had deployed him. Okay, well here's your chance, Lionel. It's 32, so pull up to here. No, a little bit closer. One more. Come on, make the same shot. Yes. 
Oh, they're tough. Okay, well, no choice but to uh, shoot this thing. Let's hope we have somebody that can do it. Yagendra could, but I'm afraid she's going to kill everybody in the process. Let's, let's try to put it down with an aim shot. There it is. Okay, that was good. We are kind of grenade baity here, though. Another spotted. Ooh, look at that. And he's got a small launcher. Bad news, baseball. Here's where I take a big chance. No. No. Yikes, guys. This isn't good. So he could either throw a proximity grenade. What's his throwing like? Strength is not good. Throwing accuracy is okay. I think he's gonna try for this. Yes. Thank you. Because, yeah, that thing was a threat to everything that we hold dear to us. Pull up a bit, and I'm going to have you deploy a little more smoke there. So we have some complete smoke cover. And we're going to try to push to the, the craft. Well, like, lots of activity in the craft, right? Okay, can you do a little more for yourself here, Vasily? No. Somebody's going to have to put in smoke for you. Um, where's our second grenadier? Here. Tony of the Falcon can do it. Okay, pull into that. Let's get some backup for him. So, actually, I might as well make sure that nobody else is around here. That craft, I don't know if it has a hole in the roof or not, but it may well. Yeah, this is all very, very suspicious territory. But yeah, clear. Still. Can you help out here, Khalid? Oh, we're going to do this. Right. It's still alive? Yes, it's alive. I've never done this before, by the way, guys. I've never healed an alien. That was a first for me right there. Pretty cool. Um... Let's get in there. Time to attack, guys. Joyo's, Joyo's front and center. Can you throw some more smoke? No. You're going to have to go in and just hope for the best here. In the mist. Hope you don't get spotted, Stefan. Lionel, I like you a lot, so don't die. Yogendra, rookie. In you go. Although, you kind of have to constantly be careful because you could... You know, you could trigger a grenade on any, any one of these, so... And these guys, Iverson, come over the hill. Join these guys. Gee, I really wish I had a bit more smoke there. Can you do it, Erd? Yes, you can. Just want a complete cover, you know? Let's not mess around. Erd. What will we do with you, Erd? But that can't pull it through for us. Yeah, Bastian's loaded for bear, but he could he could kill everybody back. So let's pull him up. Now let's pull up uh, Vera as well. Okay, drop to knee. Okay, guys. Okay, still inside. Um, well, let's push with the recon. This looks clear. I like it. Clear all the way to the corner. Good. And pull in. And now we're going to rush. Uh, it would be smart to put a little bit more smoke to pause in case you get a floater. These guys are going to rush. Joao. Rush for cover. Everybody stack. Yachandra, can you make it? Yep. Hey, can you go Vasily to here? Not quite. Let's pull into here. That's not bad. I'm closing in on it. The only thing that worries me in the night is that somebody might pop out the roof, which is very, very possible. So let's check out this alien. Um, he's still healing it. Let's keep healing it. Okay, that's an alien that's not going to die now. I'll put it in his backpack and drop this because it's useless now. He's a little overweight. Khalid, you're just going to go back with that little package. Iverson, a little vulnerable there. 
Er taking up the rear. And these two, Falcon. Um, you've got a stun stun rod, so maybe you come in. You know, might need it. Stun gun. Vera, packing a pistol, so that's um, you know, that's good. Case you know, there could be a guy at the front door, so Vera might be striking next turn. And heavy, Bastian is no longer you know he's a pistol guy now basically, but. I guess theoretically somebody could still see him there, but not through the smoke, so that should be all right. Uh, who else? Okay, so we'll just run through everybody. We have a lot of soldiers now, so it's kind of somewhat intense to try to manage them all. Liptak, I don't know if he's going to get a flank. Okay, tell you what, Liptak, we need you in your motion scanner, so go. And actually, I realized I only brought the one motion scanner. Um, Bastian, yeah, okay. So let's let's go on this. Uh, check through people, anybody. Everybody's moved, so let's go. Okay, nobody came out just yet. Good. Oh, there we go. So I think what we're going to do is use Vera to shut that thing down. Whoa. The serious alien. Uh, let's try the Falcon. Wasn't gonna take two of them. And we've still got our one prisoner who we're gonna smuggle back to the ship. He's still got him on board. Now he should go get a stun rod in case it wakes up so we can put it down again. Oh, why'd I do that? We have a new door now. Okay, Liptak, you pull in. Actually, wait, wait, let's just first get this secured. Make sure we're not dealing with any more surprises. Okay, interesting. It's this design. Cool. Okay, well, let's stack up on it. Everybody needs to get their stun rods out. And did it have a blown out roof? No, so we're contained. That's excellent. Good news. Stefan, yeah, everybody, stun rods. Yeah, you don't have a stun rod, so. Nastagio, a little bit experience to be going in with the grunts, but you know, the gender is ready for the job. And I don't know what the max rank you can get from this is, like what, you know, but I stand, I think it's just going to hang back. And Erd, your backup, stack up here. Iverson, stack up. Yeah, so it's so interesting at this point in the mission, it's like, you know, you won, basically. I mean, disasters do happen. And late game, you know, all kinds of disasters happen. But that being said, you, you can usually win. It's just a question of how much attrition are they going to inflict on you, you know? Like, it can be a fair bit. So, all right, so let's call that for a turn. Oh, my gosh. Iverson. So he popped out and he went up a level. And a whole bunch of people took shots at him. Took out Iverson, guys. I will say that really hurts, you know? It really, really, really hurts. And it's kind of my own fault, you know, for just... Oh my gosh. Erd. See, nobody can really... We're in a dangerous spot here. I love how right before this happened, I was telling you guys how... No, you know, like, we're good. We got Liptak out in the open, for God's sake. Look at this. Liptak pull back. Tell you what. What we'll do is... um. Erd, can you do this? Who can do this? We need somebody to throw proximity grenade... On the roof. I stand. If you've ever been good for something, strength throwing actually is really bad. No, that's dangerous. I guess it's Erd. I don't know if you can do it though. 41? No, he can't. Darn. Wasted that. Shucks. Um, Lip Tack probably can't either. These guys all have stuff in their hands. I've blown it, guys. We're in trouble. Anybody else kicking around? This guy with our prisoner. I mean, worst comes to worst, Khalid makes it back after a squad wipe. 
with our prisoner. That's literally what we're into right now. He, okay, nice. Stun rod there, so we can make good on it. Um. Gee. These guys don't have it. They're just grenadiers. Lip tack. I want to leave you with enough to do the, the deed if you have to. Well, so much for that plan. Um. Okay, you know what it might make sense to do? Is drop a smoke here. Just so that we have a little extra breathing room. I don't know if that's gonna help. Yeah, okay. So maybe that like panicked them or something? I don't know. Okay, so we need people that can shoot at that thing. That was good. Good shot, Joeo. And then we're going to need people that are ready to take some risks for the team, you know? Like the silly. Silly risks, but risks. Yajandra. These are the kind of people I'm talking about. People that are really willing to go in, you know? Jenkins. You. Use the cover of smoke here to your advantage. Stefan Schwartz, another hero, potential hero. I don't know. We don't need all these prisoners, but once you get going on a roll, it's like, you know... Um, let's leave that out, that little principle, and, um, okay, I can't deactivate that thing, drop this, though, so at least we'll be in smoke cover, and Leonel's gonna cover, Falcon's gonna cover, okay, let's do this, let's drop, drop the alien, take the stun rod, Put this in your backpack, because the alien, I don't think, should have any capabilities when he wakes up. He should just be out of luck, and then he gets, uh, you know, stunned out. Let's hope for the best, guys. Here goes. Wait, what's the story on this thing? 17? I'd actually like the drone scout to take the hit for everybody. There. Okay. Drone scout, open it up. Just one. Put it down. Excellent. Vasily, you are a hero. Can you go across Drone Scout? Pull out Vasily. Uh, Yajendra, time for you to earn. Although I think you did earn a little bit of combat pay already. Okay, let's pull back. Um, Liptak, come around here. And let's check out that motion scanner. Use the scanner. So, this tells us... This tells us... Okay, north east he's pointing that way i guess right he's pointing east so nobody really east these are all blobs that were likely just my boys from last turn so he's pointing that there's nobody east so that means that if anybody's there it's in here let's go back um okay let's i guess stack up for the inevitable now i don't really care because we have a bunch of prisoners so almost more than we can research My gosh. Oh, guys. Let's bring this thing in just to make sure. There was like, well, they may, you know, it's the question of attrition, but, and there's no way we needed, okay, that was it. There's no way we needed all those prisoners, but, so it cost us, five operatives but most of them were rookies um for five aliens captured so there we go we'll see what we captured but and uh 26 artifacts so we need smoke grenades Lionel and stefan interesting so we lost Kami uh, uh metals okay wait who died though iverson yeah we knew about that facility Yajendra, Jenkins, all rookies except for Raw was a squaddy. So two squaddies down, guys. But, you know, these are the costs of doing business. Um, good thing we lost five people. Good thing we have... Um, let's at least pop some people on. Oh, it was a colonel. Wow. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Um, actually, 
couple more a couple rookies up front. although you know what guys now i'm saying with all the stuff that went on last mission you don't really want rookies at the ramp because you need to be able to kill stuff right away vera maybe not bastian's not bad firing a rocket out the front door i could see that stefan schwartz i like that too and Joeo. who else Lionel, maybe you know Lionel and bastian straight up front okay and then in the back we've got a bunch of rookies to open that door and lip tax back there so we're down to like, you know, we're down, we're, we're understaffed now, but um, so let's go ahead and purchase those smoke grenades right away. So we don't forget that. Out of smokes, wow. And yeah, a bunch of proximities. Uh, we're gonna need some, we're eventually gonna need some more high explosives, maybe. Um, yeah, more high, you know, 20 millimeter grenades. Yeah, or 40 millimeter grenades, you always need those. Taser pistols, you know? Let's get a couple more. And yeah. Avalanche missiles, 15. A couple more. All right. So that's kind of got us going. Uh, let's sell out what we got. Good old plasma swords. Uh, yeah, I think we're still... We're selling this all down because, you know, it's a long time before we get any of this stuff. So let's just sell it out. We need money. Heavy plas. It hurts to sell heavy plas, but it always hurts. Lurian bomb, you know, that's our future um, 40 millimeter replacement, but it's so far out that blasters I will keep though, because they're special, super powerful. Alien grenades, so down to 20. Mine probe, photo corpses, sectoid corpses. Yeah, all that UFO research. So here's where it comes. We've got a, we've got a soldier, navigator, engineer. Wow. Okay, so I know that for the um, you know, for certain unlocks, like I think maybe plasma or something, or maybe the future craft, you need to have a navigator, an engineer, and a medic all researched. So we're going to research one of our soldiers. We'll probably start with a floater just to get rid of them. And, and yeah, so that was a million three. We lost five people. So, you know, that would have been 300k in soldiers gone. Um, yeah, but that's not so bad, you know. So we, you know, net a million bucks or so. And Alirium's coming along, but I think we're gonna actually put this on hold now. Because we really need to get laser weapons pronto. So we're gonna go and research that floater soldier and attack him with 70 people. Yeah, because that has to happen now. And, uh, and yeah, manufacturing's coming along, creeping along. We're getting the shotgun shells done. That's good, two days on that. And, and yeah, guys, so I think we're probably going to hold off on the base. I mean, I could do another recon, but the thing is, guys, it just, I don't even know about that base, you know, like, it's going to be bloody. Maybe the best thing to do is to assault it with a whole crew of rookies and, and just, you know, high explosives armed and just try to like, you know, game it because it's just going to be a bloodbath. I don't know if you can really stop those cyber discs. I feel like if we had alien grenades and laser although the thing about laser is like even if you shoot the cyber disc straight on um you're probably going to be in an explosion radius so it's almost certain death and i don't know if you can stun them so they're just super dangerous it's every move you make around a cyber disc they get reaction shots and they're just insanely bad so in close quarters i really don't know what the right way to take them out is and uh on the other hand if i leave this base around its numbers may increase so it's a bad situation I, I think I'm inclined maybe to send a Sky Ranger full of rookies, like maybe buy a Sky Ranger here. Or actually, sorry, we'll need a Sky Striker because, um, yeah, we'll definitely need a Sky Striker because we want that many rookies. So I think that's what we do is perhaps we, as soon as we can build another Sky Striker, transfer it to Duluth, um, like right after this Retaliator's done, nine days. Yeah, so we're looking like the end of the month on this. But in the meantime, maybe we'll harvest a supply mission or two to it. But yeah, guys, it's I think that's the strategy. It's going to be stri Sky Striker full of rookies with um, with high explosive and see if we can't, you know, do what I was doing before. Like just set up proximity mine traps and just game it, you know, like completely cheap it as best as possible. So anyway, guys, um, I mean, on the bright side, it's not snake men with chrysalids. So that would have been a real shocker, but some ways it's good you know it, it's a good way and in, in some ways it might be good just to leave it too because let's say it, let's say at the end of the month we find out it takes out whatever country this is 
and we lose the funding, it is what it is, then there's no reason not to leave it there and just harvest it for supply because it'll be sectoids, right, forever, I think. Or maybe it'll blend in with other species, but I'm not sure about that. But, you know, we could harvest it for supply missions. So that would mean setting up a radar base down here. So that's a decision to make. If we end up deciding to take this thing out, we, we set up a radar base. But I think what we do is wait to the end of the month just to see if we lose whatever country this is. And if not, we maybe try to take it out. If we do lose it, we set up a radar base and it becomes a harvest spot for us. And other than that, um, we get to work on just upgrading, you know, getting our lasers in place and and yeah, pushing out, making this base. Wow, Australasia already has one of these. Wow, that's cool. And so, yeah, when we get rid of this thing in 10 days, we'll be... Uh, Pretty tight monetarily. Like we'll be, we'll be getting into around balanced, and um, right. So this is across all bases, right? Yes, Sky Ranger Intercept. Yes, yeah, across. Oh no no, no 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 no. It's just this base. Is it? No, that's total maintenance, right? Twenty-two soldiers. No, there are 22 soldiers at Black Sea. So, what about this? No, this is the same number always. So, okay, that's across all bases. That's good. I was worried for a sec. Okay, that's the total for this base. I get it. Okay, so that's something to keep an eye on. When we, as soon as we put people here, which we're gonna have to, as soon as the, as soon as we're done with the living quarters, we're gonna have to man this. And that's gonna be another 360 a month just to keep that operational. But I think it's essential. And then the rest are just going to be radar bases. So each of these eventually will ideally get, maybe get a Sky Striker going and uh, be able to take missions. If we're going to have a complement there, they might as well be out doing stuff, right? So I think that's what going to be the program. Um, anyway, and then, you know, one of these bases is going to have to become a manufacturing base and probably soon. As soon as we get laser weapons, I think there's going to be, I have to look into this, but I think there might be laser weapons that we can manufacture in order to recoup make profit basically so i think either heavy laser or laser cannon and the traditionally in xcom you know, defense you could make heavy lasers or laser cannons and and sell them at a profit so if you built a huge engineering base with a bunch of workshops and a massive staff of engineers eventually they could turn a huge profit and that's how you start to balance your budget and rely less on the funding nations so we are going to attempt that i think but i do have to do a little research to see if it's even possible they, with the cut costs um cut cut values and cut sell sell values we might not even be able to turn a profit with that so may not make it worth it but um anyway guys um yeah so it's been a huge pleasure let's cut it there uh you know a little bit of progress there been a huge pleasure thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you next time